welcome back to my channel my name is ultra this is feed the mind tv so today we are going to learn the things to avoid when objection handling so ano nga ba yung mga kailangan nating i-avoid when we trying to overcome the objections from the customer so number one you have to avoid shotgun selling ano nga ba yung tinatawag na shotgun selling so do not load up all the features of the product or the services that you are trying to sell to your customer into a pitch and blast them at the prospect in hopes that something will hit. Wag lang tira ka ng tira in terms of giving the features to the customer. You have to discuss the benefits or the value with precision aim. You have to make sure that you ask questions. What the customer is concerned, what are the things na gusto niya sa isang product, then those are the only things that you can discuss to the customer in terms of giving them the benefits and the value. So, ay avoid natin yung shotgun selling. Alright? Next, reframe how you see objections. You have to avoid this. Do not emphasize to the customer the objection by counteracting with a direct defense of an objection. Iwasan nyo yung pagiging defensive mo. That's adding fuel to the fire from the customer. All you have to do is redirect the conversation away from the prospect's crime. Doon ka mag-focus sa benefits, not to the objection of the customer. You turn that objections into the needs of the customer. Kung yung concern niya is bill, mataas yung bill niya, then find solution how to resolve the concern of the customer by giving him the benefits. Ano ba yung pwede mong i-offer kay customer? Next, focus on the solution and not just the sale. So instead, focus on the customer. It's easy to forget the customer's experience when you're focused on the sale. So make a customer and not a sale. You have to make sure that you make the customers happy. Not just by selling him the product, but by making sure that he's getting the best service, the best offer available. So you talk to the customer about their problems and how to solve them, not your commodity and its uses. Kailangan ipakita mo na you're doing your job, you're trying to make sure that the customer is happy by resolving the concern and not just getting the sale. Last, don't beat yourself up. You have to learn how to handle sales rejection using the strategy coming from this channel. You mga strategy on how to close a sale, how to overcome the objections. You have to make sure na it depends sa situation. There are strategy na hindi siya nag-work. It depends sa sinasabi ni customers. So you have to make sure that you know all the strategy on how to overcome the objections depends on any situations na andun si customer. So you have to avoid objections coming from the customer by making sure na alam mo siya kung paano i-resolve yung concern ni customer. So again, you have to avoid shotgun selling, reframing how you see objections. You have to focus on the solution, not just the sale. And also, don't beat yourself up. So overall, sales objections are never fun to receive from the other end of the phone or coming from the customer. So the good news is for the agent, it is that most common sales objections can easily overcome with the right combination of words. So if you're interested in learning more about improving your sales performance or your teams, you can check the call center guide coming from Fidamai TV. So I hope that you learned something from this video. Again, if this is the first time that you visit my channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get updates coming from this channel. Again, my name is Ultra. This is Fidamai TV. Oh, 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 oh,